A former plasterer from Cambridge with a rare lung condition is trialling a new kind of medicine to help treat it. There are just 7,000 people in the UK with sarcoidosis, a condition which leaves people breathless and at times unable to walk. If successful, a new protein being trialled at Royal Papworth could replace the need for daily drugs. May Bakshi reports. At 48, Simon Osborne should be on his feet, getting stuck into work and family life. He looks normal, but he's anything but. One of just 7,000 people in the UK with a condition that leaves him breathless. I can't run, can't jog. I get out of breath walking 15, 20 metres. I was quite a fit guy years ago and loved my sport and the job I used to do in that plastering and that. And just come to an end really, but I miss doing it and friends, colleagues, you know, it's good banter at work and yeah, just, just miss it really. Sarcoidosis is normally treated with a daily round of steroids, powerful drugs that can, in some cases, have damaging side effects. But this transfusion could change all that using a protein called f So medication is about to finish? Yeah, eight minutes. Thank you very Thank much. You. The condition is a medical enigma. No one knows what causes sarcoidosis, so no one can prevent it. But it can damage the heart as well as the lungs. And using heavy drugs, as Simon has done for 20 years, can take its toll. Steroids have been around for decades, and they work really well short-term for sarcoidosis. But when patients are on steroids long-term, they, like lots of drugs, have side effects. They can cause diabetes, thin skin, and thin bones. And for somebody like Simon, in the prime of his life, being on steroids for years and years will have all sorts of adverse effects. So the idea of new trials such as this is to find alternative drugs to get people like Simon off the steroids. The trial is being run at Royal Papworth's Heart Lung Research Institute, and if proven to work, could fundamentally change Simon's life, replacing daily drugs with a monthly injection. Not quite a cure, but a step towards a more normal life. Mosumi Bakshi, BBC Look East, in Cambridge.